What's up everyone? David here from DC Strength and Nutrition in Cape Town. So yesterday I put up a uh, post on Facebook which was uh, slightly, for, slightly facetious at best, um, typical British sarcasm and it was basically going on about the, uh, the constant suffering and plight of um, a certain demographic of the population who unfortunately when looking at a carb or carbohydrate seem to instantly gain a few kilos. Um, it's quite a worrying trend that this is happening. Um, doesn't happen to me but the amount of nutrition forums I'm on and uh, other Facebook groups where at first I thought it was just bullshit but now I'm really beginning to believe that this, uh, this plight is real. It really is. I mean, how can so many hundreds and thousands of people claim this and uh, it not be true? I don't know. But um, I think something needs to be done about it. And I think that something is some plain fucking education. Because just looking at a food doesn't make you gain weight. Any food. Not carbs, not proteins, not fats. It just doesn't work that way and you need to stop fucking lying to yourself because generally when you say you just look at a carb and you put on weight I generally tend that to mean you looked at the carb you ate a fuckload of them and then you gained weight because that's generally what happens when you eat more calories than you uh, than you use you put on weight um, so That, that needs to kind of get sorted pretty quickly. Um, and it's amazing that this never actually, this weight gain never actually happens when you look at a, a peach or an apple or some broccoli. Only ever happens when you actually look at something like pizza or cake, which is actually full of fucking fat and carbs. Um, so the only way you're gaining weight is via excess of calories. It's as simple as that. If you want to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. It really, again, isn't much more complicated than that. Okay. And then amazingly, on the flip side of this, is you've got these 65 kilo gym rats wearing their deranged muscle tee or string of vests. And I'm being very judgmental here because I'm like that. And they claim that they are eating all of the carbs in the world and they can't gain any weight. How is that even fucking possible? Oh, I'll tell you why. Because you're not eating all the fucking carbs in the world. How is it that an average housewife, and I'm going to pick on the average housewife because the average housewife doesn't know about nutrition. They're the ones who typically complain about gaining weight by looking at carbs. So for this particular episode, We'll blame the average housewife on this one here. How is it that the average housewife can gain weight just by looking at a carb, but you who eats all the carbs can't manage to gain any weight? It's because you're not eating them. You might eat big for a day or two, and then the next five you eat like a prepubescent teenage girl, worrying about fitting into her bikini for the beach. And you probably do wear a bikini. Your closest do that in the gym anyway. And you don't gain any weight. Now, I'm currently bulking. I'm in a surplus of calories every day, and lo and behold, my weight is going up. It's amazing. It's almost like science said so. Oh, but it did. So, guys, for a change, you probably actually need to listen to your mum. Because she's doing it fucking spot on right now. And your mum probably needs to take a bit of advice from you and follow your uh, path at the moment. Then we might st start seeing some of these fucking nonsensical conversations on Facebook dying down. I live in hope. I mean, I am a realist, so I do doubt this is actually going to have any effect whatsoever, but maybe it might have one person, maybe two, three, if I'm really lucky, pay attention to what I'm fucking saying here. 
Deficit of calories, weight loss. Surplus of calories, weight gain. It's pretty easy. It really, really isn't difficult at all. But, um, you know, and, and if you have trouble with this concept, because some people do, and that's fine. We're not all nutritionists. People have to start somewhere, so that's fine. Pay somebody to give you a clue. Pay somebody to give you the whole fucking puzzle. And then what they tell you it's not advice that they're giving you, it's instructions. You do it. It's not an open for debate thing. Your coach says this, you do this. That's why they're the professional. You know, this is the health and fitness industry is the only industry I can think of, although I'm sure somebody will correct me because uh, I'm sure there are other industries like it, where people pay for the clue they get given the clues, they get given all the information they need, and then they ignore it because Janine at fucking number 11 says differently. Oh, sorry love, but what does Janine do? Oh, she's a lollipop lady outside the special school. Of course she fucking is. And I would take her advice over a qualified health and fitness professional any day of the week because she clearly knows about nutrition. You know, it's, it's the same as me like calling a fucking plumber in. Okay? And he starts rambling on about the U-bend and the faucet. I don't even know what those fucking are. Okay, I'm not a plumber. I don't know. So he tells me that this is wrong and then me saying to him, well actually mate, no. Patricia at number three says it's the rubber seal. Well, of course Patricia's fucking right, isn't she? She knows this. What does she do? Oh, she's a housewife. And sometimes she does some homeschooling. Of course, they cover plumbing in homeschool fucking education, don't they? So she should know what she's talking about. Yeah, I'll ignore the vast sum of money I've paid for a call out and for the parts he needs to fix my thing and I'll just pay attention to Patricia because she clearly knows what's up. How fucking retarded does that sound? I don't know, maybe, is it really that difficult? I don't know. Calorie deficit, weight loss. Calorie surplus, weight gain. If you're not tracking or you don't understand how many calories you're putting in, start putting them down on paper or on an app or something like that. Start to understand what you're putting into your body. You know, at the end of the month, and you're fucking broke all the time, you don't guess at what's making you fucking poor. You go through your accounts and see where you're wasting money. Same with fucking nutrition. If you keep pulling on weight, look at what you're fucking eating. You're probably eating shit. Or too much. One of the two, probably both. When I got fat, I was eating a lot of shit. It was good fun, but I was bloody fat. So... I think I've made my point. You cannot put on weight by looking at food. And if you did, you might as well fucking eat it anyway because you're putting on the weight in the first place. So, you don't put on weight by looking at food. The same as you don't gain weight by not eating any. Otherwise, all those fucking kids in Africa would be fucking behemoths challenging Phil Heath on stage at the Olympia because they don't eat any food, but they're massive. Doesn't happen, does it? No. So, string of vests, eat some food. Mums, again, sorry, mums, stop eating so much. Okay. Guys know who are overweight that they're eating too much because guys are some kind of fucking dicks at times and they're proud of this. Yeah, look at my belly. We. No. Stop eating so much. Stop eating too little. Your intake should match your goals. It really is that easy. Deficit, weight loss. Surplus, weight gain. I'm hoping I've made myself clear. If not, 
then please go and speak to Janine at number 11 and Patricia at number 3 who will be able to help you out no end. Cheers for now, people. I'm going to go and walk my mutts.